Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Walk at Chronicles. So listen, I had a comment and I wasn't even gonna address it, but forget it, I'll address it. Because maybe this is where everybody be thinking. Um, it's judgment on these sex workers, these sex worker businesses and things like that. I am a spiritual judge, messenger, for the most high. And I post reels, little six, 60 second snippets of my videos, right? So I had a person come in and say, oh, what about Mary Magdalene? Jesus healed Mary Magdalene. So what you talking about, whatever, <laughs> right? And so I wanted to discuss that because at first, well, for starters, I removed her comment because that's stupid. And second of all, I started thinking, and maybe people was thinking that, you know what I mean? Like in the Bible, Jesus healed Mary Magdalene. And so, because I'm a prostitute. Now, no, that's not, see? And that's the old way of thinking. That's what I'm saying. You guys got to get out of this matrix. It's not about Mary Magdalene. You are not Mary Magdalene. <laughs> you are a sex worker. You are choosing to do these things. Mary Magdalene back in the Bible times didn't have a choice. She was trying to, well, she had a choice, but she was trying to survive. She didn't have opportunities as in 2024. And here's my plane, so facts. She was in a whole different state in time of the Bible, guys. You cannot still be talking about Mary Magdalene. We is in 2024. It is grand juror opportunities. Okay, yes, Jesus healed Mary Magdalene. Jesus could heal anybody. He's the son of God. Yes, Jesus could heal you if you're a sex worker. But what I'm talking about is judgment time. You had plenty of time. Thank you. You had plenty of time to get healed. You can't go to God to out Mary Magdalene. Yeah, that, no, that ain't gonna work in 2024, huh? I'm just here to let y'all know. <laughs> so, before you put a comment under my video, talking about, oh, hell, man, man, ain't you judging? I'm not judging nothing. I'm a spiritual judge in the ethers, honey. I'm a chosen one. You better get it right. First of all, put some respect on my name because God don't play about me. I did the work. I ain't sitting here worrying about no Bible, Mary Magdalene. Talking about, oh, if Jesus saved Mary Magdalene, he could save you. Yes, Jesus could save anybody. Jesus is the son of God. You need to call on Jesus so you can get saved. But we in 2024. Spirit gave y'all ample enough time to, to get this stuff right. Okay? <laughs> and, and keep talking about a Bible or Mary Magdalene back in the day. It's not going to save you. You need to come to 2024, honey. It's 2024. Mary Magdalene didn't have no choice in the Bible days. They didn't know no better. You know better. You got plenty of knowledge, plenty of opportunities, and you want to go fucking suck. You choosing to do that in 2024. And these sex workers, they, they doing spell work on their poom poom and their pee pee. Just to sleep with you. So you can get turned out. That's what they doing, guys. So, don't leave no comment under my thing talking about, oh, you, you don't know what you're talking about, Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene has been gone. We is in 2024 and you hear my plan. Mary Magdalene ain't gonna save you. Understand that? <laughs> it's judgment time for y'all. Satan, we tear your kingdom down. You can put all the excuses you want to from the Bible. You can put comments under my little videos. All you want to. But let me tell you something. It's still judgment day. And those of you who ain't worked on yourself, you keep trying to use Bible quotes, Think that's gonna save you from the most high? It ain't. It ain't. You ain't gotta believe me, hon. I ain't on here for you. I'm on here for a chosen one that's actually doing something. So, 
You don't have to leave no comment about me and what I do for the Lord. I don't care. <laughs> That's the difference between me and you. I don't give a fuck. I know who I am. I am who, what God say I am. I don't let the devil tell me. I don't let no demons tell me who I am. I don't let nobody tell me who I am. I don't even expect for a person to know who I am. Because I know who I am. <laughs> I give you what I want to give you. I know who I truly am. God walk with me to every day. Try it and see. Do your little spell work and see. You gonna get sick and die. So, I just wanted to address that part. Cause somebody trying to bring up the Bible on me. See, these little Bible thumpers, they think they, they saying something cause they read something. Let me tell y'all about y'all Bible thumpers. Satan know the Bible too. And that ain't gonna do nothing for you. Let me tell you, you can know a scripture all day long. But if you ain't clean in your heart and soul, it ain't gonna do nothing for you. Because God know your heart and soul. God ain't reading no scripture. I don't care, okay, you memorize the scripture, great. Did you do any work? Did you clean out the shadows? Did you clean out that trauma you had when you was a kid? That's the questions you got to ask yourself. Are you envious or jealous of everybody else? Good deeds? Don't you think that's something that's called self-awareness, huh? Get you some. Before you leave a comment under me talking about what I need to do. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. Cause I know what I am. And then that's for anybody else who want to judge me. I'm a judge, and I'm going to call judgment on these sex workers. Yep. Now what? You quote me a scripture. I don't care. You still a devil. Now what? Know your place before you try to tell me about my throne. Because I got a throne. You make sure you get one before you die. Okay? That's what you do. You make sure you get your throne, because I got mine. I ain't worried about it if I'm gonna die or not, cause I know I'm gonna be with God. Either way it go. You better make sure you with God. For you leaving comments under my stuff trying to tell me about a Bible scripture. Girl, bye. Get you some, get you some business. Matter of fact, you should subscribe to my channel so you can get, you, get your life for real. And stop listening to these fake ass preachers and priests out here who ain't chosen to do those jobs that they're doing and here go my plane right back again god ain't chose these preachers and teachers and leaders and pastors to be up there teaching nothing because they fornicating they going taking trips and sleeping with men women and they got whole marriages out here so while you're over there trying to talk about me you listening to a false leader now get you some real business. Get you a real chosen ones. And you hear my plan? Stop playing with me. I'm real about mine. And God don't play about me either because I'm God's favorite. So keep on playing. You gonna get that karma right on side your head. That's for anybody else who wanna make a comment. Anybody else who judging me. Understand, karma is on your ass. And my ancestors don't play about me at all. Don't let this nice fool you. That's how all the mother ones got trapped. <laughs> okay, I'm a trap for the devil. So come on in here and get that spiritual ass whooping if you want to. That's what I'm out here for. <laughs> okay. Now, back to the chosen ones, because I had to read that one real quick. You guys keep moving forward. You're going to run into haters. You ain't got no motion. You ain't got no haters. You ain't got no motion. But with one thing I do, I sit my haters' asses down. You know why? Because haters want to think they running something and doing something. They ain't nothing but a bunch of narcissists. Hurt people. Empty inside. Want to try to tell us full, blown, chosen one who actually did the work, who actually got the Lord's blessing something 
You can't tell me nothing. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much time you read the Bible. I don't care how much college you get. You're still empty. So make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel, Deja Vu Tarot. Go and get that spiritual food. Not that food you eat, it's the food your soul needs. Facts. Can't make this shit up. It's the food your soul needs so you can get your spiritual food. Because I spiritually cook in these streets. And anybody who want to test me, you're welcome to. And I ain't trying to intimidate nobody. Book a reading. I'm just spitting fast, guys. I'm just real like that. This ain't nothing to be scared of. And if you scared, do it anyway. Because you're going to understand how much blessings and anointing I am. See, people don't understand. I'm the one you need. <laughs> chosen ones, chosen ones, we the one they need. So you don't have to be a people pleaser. They got to come to you. Because you did the work. They need you. That's why God chose you. Because God knew you was going to do the spiritual work. They need you. You the leader. Chosen one shall be first and the first shall be last. And they to sit down so they can get that spiritual ass whooping too. And say, we on your ass, Mr. Postman. You know you getting it. So, all y'all little wicked demons trying to leave comments, I don't give a fuck. So don't waste your time with the divine with me. Because you can't skip no line with the divine. And if you ain't doing the work, I don't care. Don't waste your time. All right? And that's been your morning message. Good morning. Have a good day, guys.